when I think of the whole political climate, um, what is the the right way of uh, thinking? Um, I think that uh, the way to understand it is um, when it comes to the cons by liberals and conservatives is uh, the liberals may have too much big egos and that may be the the way that you find this distasteful and uh, the way that conservatives have their flaws is they can act too shamelessly so in a sense it just becomes a hateable habit or a culture in a sense this is this is especially true in United States in 2015 when the the whole social justice warriors um, was really taking over in that short period, and uh, and that rise the movement of the anti-social justice warriors, people who detested and hated everything about that movement. But uh, what I think though is uh, if I were to have this um, this idea that uh, among liberals at least it seems that um, and this is not something I believe in now though but it was something I thought before um, this whole idea of uh, occlocratic speech um, if you don't know um, occlocracy is like mob rule it's the idea that uh, certain type of people are in power and they are using their uh, influence to shut people down or have control over what is correct opinion or what is not in a sense um, so that's what I thought and I thought that this may be true because uh, on the internet you can't say everything you want to and um, and I don't like the argument that uh, that um, uh, consequences for your speech I've uh, I can understand if it's illegal, you know, like that's covered under illegal things, like you can't threaten people with physical force, but that's that's because it's a crime, so that doesn't cover under free speech because that's a crime. But what I mean is um, when people say uh, your actions have consequences on what you say, um, um, I mean, um, I don't think it should be rude, but um, but you could use the same argument for uh, in the past with homosexuals um, uh, the idea that you your actions have consequences and I don't think that's a good argument for free speech uh, but um, but there's nothing wrong with the retaliation if you don't really approve of what someone say and uh, that's why organizing people is important um, but uh, what I think though is um, when no, now I'm gonna say about the uh, right wingers. Um, I mentioned the occlocracy, and I thought that was true. And I don't think it's so true at all. Um, at least not entirely. I like to think of it as a conspiracy though. Uh, mainly, I got it from this uh, video game called Metal Gear Solid 2. Uh, the ending I thought that was pretty cool. The way that they uh, detailed the whole uh, world order conspiracy, but. There is another element though on the internet. Um, it's a, a form of manipulation where um, you know people need ratings, and that's true in media or any form of platform. And uh, the way that I think manip manipulation works is uh, they kind of take you in when you are at your weakest point, and then and then you fall like sheep in a sense instead of uh, doing actual research. Uh, or find whatever ideologically you are um, uh, invested in. Um, and I mainly got this because uh, I'm kind of a weeb, I guess, but uh, the Ruron, Ruron, how do I pronounce it? Uh, Ruroni Kenshin. Uh, there is this anime, old anime, that I saw a little bit of. And uh, uh, basically, in this anime, though, there was this god co called Sojiro, and uh, and he was told this one truth that uh, uh, the important thing is to kill or be killed. And that was the only rule he was taught because uh, he wasn't really raised in a loving family in a sense. So that was the only truth he, know, he knew in a sense. Until he met a guy called Kenshin. And uh, 
and basically he kind of uh, conflicted his views when he offered another truth and uh, that made him very mad though and because he had this truth that he followed and now he had another truth that conflicted with his and I think that's what manipulation does to people is uh, it makes you believe in something that maybe you don't uh, entirely believe in. I understand that loyalty in politics is uh, important if you have um, a much in common or support of it, but uh, uh, but uh, you don't have to agree with everything they say or do. Like, uh, for example, um, if you um, can take the argument of a uh, Second Amendment in the USA, for example, uh, if you were to try to argue that if left-wingers got guns and they threatened a right-winger uh, uh, business owners uh, and say, okay, we, we own this now or something, a dispute or something, um, I don't see how um, a Second Amendment helps in a sense. Um, I mean, I guess it's the, it is this illusionary idea that um, uh, that uh, try to threaten the government so that it doesn't get full control or armed militia in a sense. Um, but uh, let's say if they get guns and they just start to, um, you know, get violent. So I don't know, I don't know, I'm skeptical on that one. Um, and then besides, um, uh, the reason why cops in the United States, for example, um, uh, why they pull a gun on people, um, the main reason though is uh, the 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 right for a cop for a cop or police in the United States is uh, the reason why they shoot is when they feel their life is threatened. But if nobody had guns, then that wouldn't be a problem. So, and it's also the one common cause of suicide in the United States. So you could argue that guns have a very negative effect on that country. But I guess there's some national pride with uh, guns too. You know, like same thing with samurais have. The katana sword, I guess, guns is like an American icon, but but I don't see any benefits of it. But but that's the point. Um, I, I see like the 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 cons and pros of uh, of uh, what you get online. Um, what I think is important though is uh, you shouldn't really rely on on people. I guess uh, you should rely on research and information. Um, and I'm pretty sure anyone with common sense knows this, but um, but it is very easy to be manipulated in a sense and a sheep. And um, I think that conspiracy can play a, a very what-if factor. But there is also this uh, manipulated part where you don't have to uh, abide or follow just because they say something. Um, um, if I were to like organize a, a political party, I will make the edge lord party uh i don't uh, think a left wing edge lord party would work because i think left wingers are mostly anti edge lord culture so, so what i would do is uh, maybe the edge lord culture would be uh, anti decadence or anti generate party and um not to be confused with uh, crime encouraging criminal activities that's not edgy that's sadistic um so you know you can the party will be pro social democracy and helping people out, but it would be anti um telling them what to think or what to do and should just stick to uh a common belief in um in being anti that or having opinions that you don't agree with, and you can agree on consensus though, but you don't have to agree. Uh, that would be the perfect party for, for me. I would make that happen if I could. And that's my opinion on it. Um, and thank you for listening and bye.